still nervously waiting for news about their homes, but over the weekend, they've been able to make their stay in Huntsville into a sort of mini vacation. For one family of seven living in a two-bed motel room, they're making the most of it for their kids. Four dogs, including myself, uh, two little kids, and a baby. For Jersey Palaez's family, five days in the two-bed motel room is actually the easy part. We came in one car and we're pretty tight, plus the luggage, as you see, is pretty packed. So it was, it was uncomfortable, you know, 24 hours, and we were irritated. We went to a Walmart and we bought them toys just to get, get them entertained, have them occupied and their minds away from their friends and what home might look like. They still don't know what home looks like, but that isn't what the family's trying to focus on. It's Palaez is his first time outside of Florida, so to him, it's an adventure in a place he's making feel like home. Keeping coffee, keeping in Miami. We brought Miami to Alabama, so. Across town, another family's eager to get back. I'm ready to go home, but not with no lights. We've all been worried about our house and if we would have a house when we get back. Yeah, we have no insurance, not blood, wind, fire, nothing. theft, nothing. Can't afford it right now. Kay Arroyo's husband and her nine dogs stayed behind in their mobile home. So far, their home is all right. But if that changes, they will keep pushing on. Do what we can. I've got a tent in case that's the only thing I could say. We'll pitch a tent and hope for the best.